Hey YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rocks97 here with um, Alden with his nice creepy smile. He's gonna show us the deck profile on what deck? Light Swords. Okay. Very ghetto. Yes, definitely. Um, 3JD, it's JD. You kind of have to run 3 unless you want to lose. Uh, 1BLS and 2 Chaos for sure. Uh, you run a lot of darks, mostly like attack negations and stuff, but it's really good because you end up gonna mill one of those, so then you can use it as cost for one of the other ones. Two Trag and a Gores. Um, all the Light Sworn monsters usually have really low attack, so if you don't have a big monster out, Trag's really good because they're going to attack over it. Uh, Gore is you. I don't really run very many back row in this deck, so it's really good. It's a big beater, and they're also both dark. All of them are dark monsters. The best card in the deck, two Lumina. Um, this card is amazing. It makes those wolves you draw in your hand not as bad because you can pitch them to get something back. Um, it's also really good when you pair it with the two Garros because it makes you mill five and have a chance of drawing a lot more than you usually would. Um, Garros is good. It means 1850. It's attack over most things, and I mean it's just another Light Sworn name. Uh, two Lila. Two Lila is really good because like you can switch the defense position, which is really helpful because it does have a kind of low attack and it's used to pop a back row. With par with priority gone, it's not as good as it was, but it's still a really good card. Um, two Raikou. I would run three, but it's like it's really slow because you just set and say go. But two is really nice because it allows you to do other things with it. Like it lets you get gotcha gotcha out with only running two with Lumina plays. One Aaron kicks the shit out of everything. If they try to set a stand again and say go, you just return it to the deck, and then they kind of get pissed. And it's another Vice War name. Um, one Jane. I mean, if it attacks against something, it gets boosted, but it's only 1800, so when it gets attacked, it doesn't get boosted. Um, it's pretty nice, I guess. It's a warrior, which is kind of cool. I mean, two wolf. I did run three, but I kept on drawing them, like, more often than I actually should, and it really made me mad. Two is really good. It pairs good with Solar Recharge and Lumina if you have them in your hand. 2100 beater. Uh, one honest. I mean, it's honest. Two card super. Oh, this is a really good card in the deck. He allows you to mill and then still get a draw on it if it gets destroyed. You don't have to worry about torrential your own monster because you're still going to draw one. A two necro garden. This card is so amazing in this deck. If you pitch it for Lumina, it goes to the graveyard and that's a plus. It's going to keep it from dying. Or if you mill it, it's still really good and you gain the attacks. Uh, one plague spreader. Uh, just because it activates in the graveyard is one of the really only reasons I run it. It's the only tuner you run in the deck. I mean, it allows you to like reuse cards in your hand. Like you put a wolf on top of your deck and then mill it when during the end phase. Uh, one charge light brigade. I mean, it's charge. Add one mill three. Triple solar recharge. The consistizer. Uh, using this really makes the deck a whole lot better. Like if you if you, even only running two really screws you over with all the dead draw wolves and stuff in your hand. One Avarice and one Monster Reincarnation. Um, I mean, it, it, they're nice. I usually end up usually end up having a JD or something in your hand, so you won't truly need it. And you have Lumina to get back all the life from monsters to go for game if you're not using JD. But they're both really nice. Like for Monster Reincarnation, if you only have three Light Swarms, you can ditch one Light Swarm with a different name and then add JD. It can go into JD. And Monster, I mean, Pot of Avarice is really good to get back all the milled Chaos Sorcerers and whatnot. Two MSTs, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, and my, uh, Heavy Storm. Oh, only two MSTs because of the Lilas. Like, there's really. Running three would be cool, but with the two other Lilas in it, it makes it to where you're going to have a lot of back row hate anyway. I mean, even with JD2, just blow up everything. Then run two traps, just run two torrential. I mean, it's too good not to run. It's the only trap I run. I mean, like, I'll, I side into more heavy trap lineup depending on what it is. Okay, an extra deck? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty standard. Gataster, Brio, Guy and I. I mean, with Plague Spreader, you can go into all those with Lumina or the, f or the level fours. Black Rose, um, it's a little hard to go into Black Rose, but it is possible for Monster Born one of theirs. Scrap Arch Fiends, another 7, it's a big beater, you can hit over a lot of stuff nowadays. That's in there because I really don't like playing Chain Burn. Colossal Fighter, I mean, a lot of people don't like it, but I really like it saying you have the Garrofs and the Aaron and the, whatchamacallit, Jane in there, which makes it get a bonus, and then you can get one of those back if you need to. Uh, the one Stardust, I mean, 
it's easier just to get out Stardust if you really need to. And then the two Gachi Gachi, I'm probably going to take down the one because I can only go for it one way. I can go for it two ways technically, but it's a really good card in general. It allows you to bump up your already really small Light Swarms to be able to hit over things. Two Leviathan. I'm going to put a Levier in there eventually, maybe. I mean, it'd be cool, but I like Leviathan because it allows you to hit over big things. Like, you can just attach both over the time, and then the Chaos Dragons can't hit over it. Uh, two Utopia. It's really, really easy to go for fours in this deck. Milling the Wolves and whatnot. And then, obviously, the one Utopia Ray. Really good card. And even if you don't go for it very often, you can still Monster Reborn their Utopia and go for it, and it makes it really good. Okay, thank you for the deck profile.